Hello everyone, I am Ankit and today we are going to discuss about the challenges that we have to face in the IoT world and what are the major security precautions we can use to protect our IoT devices. Let me first tell you what is IoT. IoT stands for Internet of Things. A long term short story is that when any physical device which is connected through internet can be able to perform some tasks without user direct interaction and have their own unique identity. We can operate these IoT devices and gadgets via smartphone, tablets and laptops. Some of the examples of IoT devices are Scene Optimizer, find in the camera mode to detect object and various things. Smart door locks which can access by Bluetooth and NFC connectivity to unlock and relock your doors. Smart home ports like Alexa and Google. Through voice command, we can able to know what's the weather like today and we can also be able to turn off and on lights through these IoT devices. Now let's discuss about the challenges in the world of IoT. As of we know that without internet, we will not be able to access our IoT devices. But while using internet, there may be highly chances that if a hacker breaks the firewall, then it might be possible that the data transfer through internet can be mislead. And if the hacker get into the data access, then your private privacy is not secure anymore. Hence, the following value given below is to prevent IoT from getting hampered. Let's get into it. First, it, first is scalability. There are over 5 billion of IoT devices get connected in a huge network. And so therefore, large volume of data are needed to be processed. And hence, this data need to be scalable. In this case, big data and cloud computing come in use. If not, the data must be lost and formatted. So therefore, we must need some backup while using this, we can able to collect useful data. Next is interoperability. Hence, in today world, we use fragmented technology. And this technology need to be conversed. So better, better framework need to be established for the standard of IoT devices. In IoT devices, we use a single integrated circuit and chipsets, which are not as much as powerful uh, chipset found in the high-end PCs and the smartphones. This leads to a lack of interoperability technology. The next is personal privacy. There has been no research in security vulnerability and its improvement. So, there must be ensured that the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the personal data must be prevented as of those. The Next is design based challenges. What are design based challenges? With the development of technology, design challenges are increased as much as faster rate the technology is growing on. There have been issues for limited power consumption of IoT devices and their uh, limited energy with uh, lesser memory to use as of their IoT full potential. The next are securities. How to make our IoT devices secure? How can we deploy application in our data centers? As a recent study says that HP security researchers did an evolution and found that the 70% of what we call IoT devices are vulnerable to attack. So there are following steps through which we can ensure that a more secure Internet of Things approach and uh, make our device more secure. The first is secure boards. That means only the authorized framework can be put on your machine. So uh, uh, while, we, while using the microcontrollers, we can update these frameworks and no one can add a few line of here and there or install a framework software on your IoT devices. The next is authentication. How many devices do you think are shifted with default password authentication and no, not authentication at all. Passwords are specially for machine stronger certification while using your own password and make it strong enough that it could be unbreakable. To secure access to your devices, you only have to look at the recent uh, Miral denial of service attack which look out the companies like Amazon and Spotify um, all because there is no authentication from which the router is being accessed. <coughs> Next is protected ports. 
this is the physical security of the iot devices essentially there are other ways of actually going in and physically debugging the system since you have to physically uh, debug your system then there are very less chances that your iot devices is being hampered then there are secure storage many of us know that if we are storing data on large enterprise system the data is secure but what about the flash storage on your embedded device it turns out embedded system typically have something called flash storage and this might hold some information from time to time that's not immediately secure or encrypted and that can open you up to a security breach leaving that all information is at risk last but not the least secure connections secure connection has two component one of those component is actually encrypting the over the air data and the other is appropriate key exchange appropriate key exchange must include authentication and authorization upfront to set up the encryption connection why they are both important because if you don't do the first step then the keys are open and anybody can unencrypt and if you are not encrypting then somebody could easily take a peek at your data but not all the data is created equally right does anybody really care about what's the temperature sensor data while it turns out that things like ip address and port identification may also send and if you are not securing the whole communication pipeline it leaves that it is open for attack so these are the security challenges we have seen in the iot world thank you for watching this video